I want to mention this news regarding Iggy Azalea selling her catalog to Domain Capital in an eight figure deal. She decided, I think, in this one fell swoop to effectively unofficially retire from music, which I think she mentioned before. She was already saying that she wants to kind of retire and just be a mum and do other business ventures, which makes some sense. But I do think this is pretty cool because I do remember her also saying once in an exchange with people on Twitter that she writes a lot for people like she's behind the scenes doing a lot of writing for artists that we would know now here and now but she kind of keeps that all to close to chest because it's something she doesn't want to divulge because it kind of pays a pretty penny and obviously that whole entire world is especially um quite secretive in terms of who people write for because the people that she writes for i guess don't want people to know that they have writers they want to kind of have this illusion that they kind of write everything themselves but regardless i think this is a really good move especially when you consider how you know streaming is effectively being rendered mute it's obviously helping in terms of statistics and numbers especially once you get into the higher echelons but for what i would deem to be a quote-unquote working musician or artist which is what i'll describe someone like an iggy because she's not exactly red hot relevant in the industry but she still probably has a decent enough catalog to you know pay a mortgage or a couple of light bills and stuff which is pretty decent but for a working class, I guess, artist and musician to be in a position where you can sell your catalog for an eight figure deal, that is monumental and something that you should obviously rip the person's hand off if they decide to offer you such a deal, because it probably is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And like I said before, with streaming being the way it is, there's no guarantee that it's going to stay the way it is in terms of how they report the numbers in terms of what the numbers do in equating money you know what what royalties all that good stuff it could or even masters could be rendered mute in sometimes in the future if another development technological comes across so or kind of evolves from time so i think this is a really really smart play from iggy in terms of securing her long-term future and obviously giving her the ability to kind of position herself in certain places so it says the follows iggy zaley has sold her master recording and published catalog to domain capital for an eight-figure sum a source close to the deal told billboard the wide-reaching deal includes 100 percent of Iggy Azalea's shares of her existing catalog including her number one hit fancy featuring charlie xcx black widow featuring rita rita aura and problem featuring ariana grande yo those are free big records and it includes an additional trigger for Azalea to earn future revenue on master recordings the deal was brokered by a manager Reese Pearson and her attorney Peter Paterno the rapper's discography includes the new classic Surviving the Summer EP and In My Defense and In the End of an Era though she has previously released music under the deals with Virgin EMI and Island Records Azalea has since founded her own label called Bad Dreams um, it was formerly distributed by Empire but is now in the midst of closing a new distribution deal with a different firm The Source says so she's even got she's doing some boss shit the independent rapper who owns 100% of her her bad dreams label she will be able to fully own her masters and publishing on all four coming music starting Q1 2023 on the publishing side she has an administrative deal with Sony publishing with Sony music publishing sorry these days your Shirley native is living in Miami and working on her next album raising her son Onyx whom she welcomed in 2020 she plans to release a full project sometime next year oh yeah the Miami move might be to do with Tory Lanez isn't it or maybe she was there that's how she met Tory Lanez but I remember he said he's trying to executive produce that album also but I'm assuming he's probably keeping it in a hush now to do with his court date and once that gets you know concluded they're probably going to ramp up the promo and start really being out there and pushing it I'm curious to say to listen to what happens with that deal actually Azalea's deal was revealed just weeks after Domain Capital announced that it had closed more than 700 million in commitments for a comical entertainment fund in the press release about the fund on November the 1st, Domain Capital added that it had already deployed more than 170 million in film, television and music investments to date. We're excited to launch our first at diversified private entertainment royalty fund, said an Anthony Tega, <laughs> oh what a name, Anthony Tita Negro, Tita Negro, mamma mia. <laughs> executive managing director of um, domain capital group in the release at the time of the sustained entertainment industry um growth sustained industry growth supported by the ever-evolving landscape of distribution channels we are focused on building a diversified asset base to generate cash yield and help maintain our investors capital the firm declined billboard's request for comment so like i said before great deal for iggy i think she absolutely smashed it so congratulations to her for securing the bag as per usual i think it'll go a long way to securing her long-term future obviously for someone like herself who's 
clearly been angling to kind of get out of the music industry and kind of retire i think that's cool also because i don't think we see that often enough people just bowing out gracefully maybe she's not at the top but she still bowed out gracefully she wasn't out here struggling to fill certain venues and arenas and trying to make that work and trying to go back on a radio circuit again and you know basically subjecting herself to these terrible interviews that essentially paint her in a terrible light even though for the most part she does come across pretty decent she's obviously raising her son that she's got with playboy car and she's seems pretty unproblematic for the most part of it so if you are in the music industry and you're kind of tired of things and you don't want to compete with everybody else and do the things people have to do in order to keep yourself somewhat relevant then if you have the ability to sell your catalog and still have the ability to do your writing behind the scenes work on your label that is obviously the deal and it's definitely going to be a life-changing amount of money and she's already said that herself on twitter when she said the following um where somebody asked us on twitter and said i hope she doesn't end up like taylor um no shade at all just using it as an example and Igazela replied back and said Taylor did not profit from the sale I sold a portion of my catalogue which is very important to who I wanted for an amount that means I don't have to work another day in my life which is incredible I love y'all down but the master's conversation is a little beyond most of your understanding of business which I definitely agree the master's conversations and you know the whole premise behind it is that if you own 100% of nothing then what do you actually own so this idea that masters are everything is very very much a fan's point of view or maybe something a lot of artists have been pushing and the fans basically have run with it but the music industry business is very shady it's very convoluted and there are ways if you want to make a lot of money but but from the impression of kind of average everyday consumers when they see the stories out there it kind of looks like you've been swindled when really you decided to make the better play out of everyone so big up her and i hope it works out for her going forward i really